Hi, this is Linz from Sweet Natures and this is our Virgin Voyages Resilient Lady Food and Restaurant Review. As always, I'm joined by Mikey. Hello. Hello. Who put the video together and this is my first time watching, so let's see what we can see. It's our food and restaurant review time for Resilient Lady Linz. Oh no. Does that mean because you're going to be hungry when you're watching this? Yes. There are some amazing places to eat on this, and we're going to talk oh. through it as we go through there. And you're probably going to hear Lindsay go, oh, quite a lot show <laughs> in this, <laughs> given that we're recording just before we, we have lunch as well, which is always a good idea for this. And I've got wine. And you've got wine. So a perfect combination for a food video. Oh, yes. Now, <gasps> there's places that you can eat pretty much all the time with Virgin, and you'll have seen it on that little intro part where you've got on the daily plan of the restaurant opening times. But we're going to start off by Razzle Dazzle Ooh. and Razzle Dazzle by Night, which oh. is their newer version of Razzle Dazzle. How many times can I say Razzle Dazzle? I, I don't know. Were you as surprised with this one as I was? Yes. Yes. What, what time of day is this now? So we're looking at breakfast now. Okay. I'm, I'm showing a few different pieces with the eggs. We, we actually went into this restaurant three times, which that's more than we've ever been into on if the other cruises said, with Virgin. If you'd have said we'd have gone here three times, I would have said no. Well, this was the restaurant, including the galley, yes. that we went to the most. It is. That's true. And I definitely wouldn't have said that. No. For anyone that doesn't know... Vassal Dazzle was originally designed as a predominantly vegetarian and vegan restaurant. Mm -hmm. But it always had a couple of what they class as naughty bits. Yes. Which was sort of bacon or chicken and, yeah. uh, and things in there. But it was designed around that. But it had the same menu whether you went in there for breakfast, brunch or dinner. Yes. So if you'd been in in the morning, there wasn't a massive reason to go back. Yeah, you're not going to have eaten everything. No. But it's not the same. No. As good as it is, and the food is fantastic. Yeah. It there just for us wasn't a compelling reason to go back. It didn't feel very dinnery or a treat, really, did it, in an evening? No, it it felt very much like a breakfast and brunch place. Yes. And casual. Yeah. I mean casual or, or sort of formal. Not that there is really any formal no. on Virgin Voyages anywhere. But it just wasn't one of those places that made me want to go back. Now, the food, as you can see on that, incredibly Instagram and pretty. Yes. And tasty. It always has been really, really tasty. tasty. Really tasty. And it's got a fantastic bar at the back of here, the Red Bar, which is only open when the restaurant's open. Yes. That does amazing cocktails. Now, again, you're probably not going to have that many during breakfast. But this is a breakfast thing that I'm having. But... Like what they do in the wake, they have an unlimited brunch drinks package as well. So if you want to go and you want to have uh, mimosas or Bloody Marys... Or, yes, I for think the they, I think they might even actually do beer uh, in this one. You can do for yeah. uh, uh, a fixed amount. What What's that? Uh, that was my mushroom tartare. Okay. Does it look as pretty on video, admittedly, because no. it's mainly brown? <laughs> it doesn't. <gasps> but it was really tasty. Now, this was a breakfast thing as well, wasn't it? it well, we had this at lunch one day. Brunchy time. Brunchy lunch, because you're yeah. having, I think, their plant burger as well. Yes. They have some amazing fries in there. Oh, they were really good and fries. And that was the plant burger that you were having there as well. <laughs> now, before we went on this, well, sort of not long before, because we did know before we went gone, um, they'd announced that they were going to change the restaurant up in an evening. To Razzle Dazzle by Dazzle Night. Razzle Night. And as you'll see when we go in there, the tables are laid out differently. You've got more formal glassware, you've got wine glasses on there. The lighting's different in there as well. And it's a completely different it's menu. It's a warmer. Oh, that's a nice photo. I know, a very rare photo of the two of us. <laughs> but it is a completely different menu. And it's probably about 50-50 vegetarian slash vegan, because not everything's vegan, but mm -hmm. uh, to none, yes. including some treat yourself ones like the seafood broil. Well, that's a fancy one as well. It is. We didn't have that, and I didn't actually see anyone else have it. But you've also got a big cocktail menu, as I mentioned earlier. And we decided to try one of their new ones on this one. So can you remember what it was called? It did show it on that menu. Uh, no. What was it? It was oh. Smoke and Mirrors. Oh, and it was in a little, t like a little kettle. A little, a little teapot. Oh, look at that. And they do that for either two or four. And I think, 
I'm trying to remember what it said on, on the menu there, but I think it was about twenty or twenty five dollars out of our. Uh, bar but we tank. got four cocktails out of that. Yeah. So it was like six dollars a cocktail, which I, I thought were good value. Oh, do I struggle with the leaf here? Oh, I you generally struggle with anything that's on the top of a glass. <laughs> <laughs> where they're knocking it off or, or eating it, but uh, <laughs> it's a, a little bang. It's a little basil leaf. Isn't it? Can you? I mean, you ma- could you imagine if this was our first cruise as a couple together? You'd never want to see me again. I'd definitely want to see. You. <laughs> we were genuinely surprised by just how much better it was in an evening in here. Yeah, it was so good. If we weren't making sure that we went through every restaurant in order to better show it on the food review, we would have absolutely gone back here a second time. Yes. And Oh, those chicken wings. I know. They don't look... They're not the biggest chicken wings, but no. they were really tasty, weren't they? They were chiquettes, but they... Little, little chiquette wings. Oh. What? Uh, what am I doing? Oh, It's God. just your usual I... weird way of eating chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> but it was an absolute... Treat in there, and for me, next time we go on Virgin, <gasps> where Wet and Lens is stop taking deep baths. For me, next time we go on Virgin, yeah, Basil Dazzle will be right up there as the primary restaurant that I want to make sure I've got booked along with the work. Yes, would we, it be for you? Definitely, I loved it. I loved us. I mean, what? What is that the thing we had for the table? Because we had the, yeah. uh, we couldn't decide, could we? I couldn't decide between the chicken and the pastrami. Um, short rib. Yes. And he said, well, I'll just put one in for the table because it's not that big anywhere. Yeah. And we were. The burger that you had there was an, a secret menu one. It was. Because the, the waiter said, oh, we've got some secret menu stuff. And I know well. why it was secret. Why was it secret? Because it was so naughty. Look, I mean, oh, look at me. Look at your state <laughs> of your face. <laughs> you, you've got something just there on your cheek, Lynn. Oh, and <laughs> I, 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 think, I think you might have used a swear word there as well. <laughs> it was appropriate. <laughs> it, it, it was appropriate <laughs> when you realised it. Then. But honestly, if you've been to Razzle Dazzle before and you're thinking, oh, it, yeah. it, is it really that much different? Yes. Because a lot of the things were pretty but not very tasty. So I'm thinking of the fairy toast and that kind of thing. Whereas these ones, absolutely delicious. I loved it. <gasps> and it, it was the biggest surprise we had on here. And it's now the Razzle Dazzle by Night is a must-do for me. Yes, definitely. Yeah. And look, oh. And we've given that a 9 out of 10. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm really going to struggle. You I'm are, I'm really going to struggle with this. Well, while you're getting past that, oh. would you like to invite people to subscribe if they've not already? Oh, I would, I would really love to ask you to subscribe. Thank you if you already have done. It means a lot. Thank you. And you can also follow us on all the social medias, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter... And if you would like to support the channel even more, um, consider becoming a sweet naturist. And a shout out to uh, Karen and Stuart from oh, Martin Carroll, who were one of our members. Welcome, welcome, Karen and Stuart. Next up, Pink Agave. Oh my goodness me. You're going to be absolutely ravenous by the time we finish this, aren't you? Oh. Pink Agave. What do you want to talk about on there? Was well, there Mexican restaurant? Upscale Mexican restaurant. Fine dining Mexican restaurant. Yes. So we've been in some Mexican restaurants on land that are sort of the fine dining ones. And this compares. Oh, I definitely. I, I love it. This was the first night, wasn't it? It was. Now, some people might look at it and think, oh, you know, is it like hollow on MSC? No. It's no. It's a completely different No, you're not going to have like. Just tacos, every and variation and, of a and theme like kind that. of thing, yeah. It, everything is presented mm. incredibly well, it's incredibly tasty. It's also got uh, one of the biggest tequila oh. bars we've seen at sea. I've just remembered what I had. You had the tequila with crickets in. Well, Why? it's a tequila cocktail with crickets in. I was going to order it and you went, oh, I'll have that one. I'm like, okay, I won't get the crickets. Out. It was very strong, as you can tell. But the margarita bar in there, yes. which I was just talking about. Sorry, Dan. It, no, it's okay. If you're not eating it there, you can still go into the margarita bar, like you can the red bar in Razzle Dazzle. How low was your shirt unbuttoned in that night? It was when I was doing a, a bit of a David Hasselhoff bar, I feel. <laughs> Let's just say we're warm. It was warm. Wow. Uh, you get some little sort of nibbles to start with. Now, the, our server that night made the recommendations for us. Yes, he and did. And we kind of just went with it. Yeah. So he brought us a load of little plates to share. So they have their small plates, their medium plates, and then the large plates. <gasps> large plates being the main courses. Oh. 
but the the guacamole is oh, amazing, so the prawns are amazing, everything. But as you can see, it's also so really pretty and really fresh and tasty, clean. It's it's lovely. It is, and I'd probably say that about you can expand that on to Virgin Voyages as a whole. That the food is really fresh, and it's made for you. There's no plates and plates coming out with the little plastic covers on where they've been warmed up and had to come from the main kitchen. It's all prepared fresh for you. Well, I can't say categorically everything is because I've not been in the kitchens, but it certainly feels well, and tastes not. like they're, it. They're, they're done before. Yeah, that. obviously. They, they, <laughs> but you know what I mean? Really <laughs> it is. But again, pink agave, real mm. big recommendation. Oh. One for the margaritas. Because they're just absolutely amazing. I'm salivating. This is so wrong. <laughs> it's not. I mean, you can see some of the mag- the tequilas behind there. <laughs> but it, it's never disappointed any time we've been on there. Oh. And again, we've given this a 9 out of 10. Because <gasps> it is just absolutely phenomenal. Love it. Oh, my goodness. Next up, The Wake. Now, The Wake yes. is their fine dining, steak Signature. and seafood... It, on any other ship, this would be the signature restaurant. The speciality, 50 to $75 a head. Yeah. What you have to remember on Virgin is that everything that we're showing is inclusive as a restaurant. Yeah, you can pay a little bit more and get like the bottomless brunch at the wake, or you can have some of the fancier meals. Which we, we upgraded some yeah, of the we, dishes. Yeah, we got the seafood tower in here. Cause on the other twice that we've been on the wake, it hadn't been available. Oh, that clam chowder. But oh. this is breakfast. Oh. Just so very, very good and inclusive. You know, w- when you look at some of the other steakhouses oh, on some gross. of the other cruise lines, you'll be paying anywhere between sort of 30 and 70 to $80 per person to go in and eat these. Oh. And this included, and you go in for breakfast and If you want to have steak and egg for breakfast, <laughs> you have steak and egg for breakfast, don't you? Teapot, proper teapot. It, little things like that, like I said, with the teapots. Yeah. It, it's just there. Look, you nearly put some milk in that if you can. I'm not, I, I like a builder's tea. You do, you, just a tiny little bit. The, their eggs benedict, I think they have like four or five different ones. I had the soft shell crab this time. You did, and you enjoyed that, I've been you? coveting this for a, a while. I've had that in the past. Yeah. I preferred yours. I think I had the pork belly one You did, time. yes. Yeah. Well, it's called the wake... Yeah. It's their sort of I signature preferred yours. version. I think now, I've built it up. Sorry, darling, I think I've built it up too much in my head. Because you've been waiting to have it for that long. Yes. It's a, All of the restaurants, as you can see on here, uh, are extremely nice to look at. They're all also a decent size. Yes. When you look at, you think about speciality restaurants on other um, cruise lines, yeah. they're, they're quite small. But these yeah. are all the equivalent of main dining rooms. Yes. And... You can book each one of them once in advance mm-hmm. on an up to seven night cruise, but you can go in them as many times as you want. So if you want to go into the wake for breakfast, lunch, and dinner every single day, you can do that. You might have to go in the standby line and wait a little bit. Yeah. But on our particular one, um, there were one night we went into here at the last minute. Uh, we changed things around because of uh, the, another rose had been another rose had been, been cancelled that yeah. night and moved forward a night. And we just walked in. It wasn't yeah. a problem. It's like, yeah, no <gasps> issues whatsoever. The bread. The second best bread at sea. It is the second best bread at sea. <laughs> After who? Veranda on Cunard. Oh. It is. And they look very similar as well. They do. I'm they sure do. they've taken inspiration from that. Oh. It, just really, really good quality food. Great quality food. I didn't drinks. look impressed there. With I'm, your nibbles, you're like, mm, mm, mm. I'm not a bread person, though. So you know, for but me the to... fact that you actually had some. Yes. Um... And I didn't go, yeah, it's bread. <laughs> uh, it is quite impressive. Again, just going to what you said earlier, the, the quality and the freshness of the food, no matter where you go, we're in the wake on here, you know, so we'll talk a bit about this one, is never less than <gasps> amazing. This was the seafood tower that we got. Now, this was an extra $70 for the two of us. Which we had covered with our... Credit, yeah, we had, we had a lot of onboard credit on this yeah. cruise, and we thought, well, yeah, <gasps> chips and ketchup. He brought you as well. Uh, <laughs> oh, God, if you like seafood, this is the best seafood uh, 
tower type thing we've ever had at sea, including on the veranda in Cunard. The bonus fish? Yeah. So this was a fish baked in salt crusted pastry that we oh, bring out. Him. Look at uh, that. And then they shared that between us. We didn't order it. He said we he, he, he goes, thought we, we we thought we'd you'd treat like you to it. This yeah. Yeah, it would be nice. So they split that between the two of us. Oh. And to be fair, it was delicious, wasn't it? Oh, Lyrica going out. MSC Lyrica. It is. I was showing that not just to show you oh, Lyrica going out. <laughs> no, it was. <laughs> it was bye bye Lyrica. Um, it was following us around that ship. Um, you've just got fantastic views from there as well. Yes, you do. Now, we're in port uh, at that particular point, but it, again, just we lovely cruised place out, to though. Go out in there didn't we we, we did. set off it was it was amazing because yeah. they, they have later departures to virgin voyages yeah you get a lot longer on land than you do with some other cruise lines uh, you tend to you know, from our experience on our particular cruises they import eight to ten hours won't they? yes oh you've got me having oysters and you're liking the oyster i love oysters uh, and then they also came over and when they saw we'd finished the bottom shelf, moved it so we had more. Yeah, room. they did. That lemon for the dessert was just you, so. I, good. And you know, following seafood, that was okay, probably great. I went with the baked Alaska. Didn't you did, I? which again, still really good. And matches my dress. It, is that what you went with? <laughs> you just <laughs> go with food saying, that matches yes. your dress. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you look to be enjoying that one. Oh yes. The the work is always on everyone's list. To, to must try mm-hmm. and it absolutely should be as should the ones that we've already talked about yeah. but it's whether you go for breakfast whether you go for a brunch dinner it, it's never been less than amazing in there for us and we've given it a perfect score 10 out of 10 yes which I think that's only the second time we've ever given a 10 out of 10 on a restaurant cruise yeah. restaurant review yeah test kitchen this is their experimental restaurant and like most experimental restaurants you know whether you're on cruise ships are, are, are you on land they are divisive some people love them because they're a tasting menu yes you get very little choice uh-huh and you get a choice for the main course in fact i don't think you do anymore do no you? i think you know it was venison or beef did you still get those choices on the yes one? Okay. yes we did um but everything else is just that's it yeah so Again, I think that puts people off a little bit. Oh, and see Kieran in a second. We do. Hi, Kieran. <laughs> uh, and sorry, threw me then. <laughs> we, we Kieran. I forgot that we were in the video. Hello, um, Kieran. The restaurant itself, they have got some little tables, but in my opinion, the better ones to sit at are actually where we are. We normally like a table where it's a bit quiet and we can see this, but because of the nature of it, it's nice to watch the chefs preparing it, and it you is. get a little show in there. It's not romantic in that sense. Uh, the restaurant's not a romantic no. restaurant at all. No. They have some really good pairings in there. Now, historically, when we've both been into this, we get the cocktail pairing. But because I wanted to see what the other one was like, you got the cocktail one and I got the wine pairing. Yes. And they had changed a couple of the cocktails from the first time we went into yeah, there, there's back slight on Scarlet. variants, yeah. Uh, but it was the first time I had the wine pairing. The wine pairing was fantastic. But I would go back to having... Look. Oh, you, look, yeah, venison or beef, you were right. So you still <laughs> got the choice. Uh, I would go back to the cocktail one next time. You would go back to the cocktail yeah. one. I tried some of your wine, you tried some of my cocktails. Would you try the wine pair next time? No. <laughs> <laughs> now, the mushroom. Uh, again, it, it can put people off because of what these are, but this is essentially a really nice patty. Can I just talk about why I'm wearing a T-shirt to go to dinner? Why it's because it was 80s night later on. And we were getting changed. Like and that. we were getting changed into 80s gear. And I just couldn't... I didn't think it would be appropriate to sit there in an 80s outfit. But you one, know not what? Not the one that you had. But you could have done. I could have done. And I should have done. Cause well, I think that's also one of the things to talk about on with, with Virgin as a whole. That it is very relaxed in terms of what you wear. Yes. Yeah, if you want to go into the restaurants all dressed up, that's fine. If you want to go in in a shirt like I was wearing there yeah. and, and shorts, absolutely fine. Now, they've swapped this from calling it peas to egg. Is that right? Is that what they've changed it? Yeah, it used to be peas. It's the same thing. And now it's egg. This is really divisive. We, we know some other people who've been on it who hate this one. But but it's generally... Paul from Paul and Carol Loves to Travel. He's not impressed with this. He's not, because it's cold. It's cold egg. And it's, it's cold peas. peas. But... <laughs> 
it's incredibly tasty. Isn't it? We love it. <laughs> we do. Uh, again, divisive in terms of what it is. It is a restaurant you do need to try. Yes. For sure. They have two different menus. The one that we're in oh. on here is classed as menu A. I've got another uh, obstacle again. We go back to talking about cocktails with things at the top. Now, to be fair, <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you could have just moved the glass away first. But no, Lindsay move, won't let the cocktail move leave the on glass here. Away. It's gone here. <laughs> <laughs> Instead, stick it up her nose first. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm just talking about the menus on it. Um, menu B is a completely different menu. It is. Most people, generally speaking, prefer menu A. Yes. So this, which is the one that we're having now. Pam and Andrew, they love menu A. Yeah, anyone that we spoke to menu A is their preferred one, including a lot of the staff. Oh, they, yeah, they yeah. Um, but there is, that does give you a reason to go in more than once. Yes. Um, so you go try the second menu, and it is oh, a completely no. different menu. Oh, no. Oh, what could happen here with something uh, on top? <laughs> <laughs> and almost on cue, it falls down. The, o- the only disappointing bit is that it didn't fall into the heart on your chest, which I would have just lost oh it if that had happened. Oh, my goodness me. Again, from a presentation point of view, just looks stunning. It, just so tasty. None of, you don't come out of here bloated. No, that's true. The The... They might look at a lot of food, but lots of it is sort of very small bites. Yes. Uh, none of it's heavy. So this one for the beef or the venison, depending which you got here. I think we both went for the beef. We did, yeah. Oh, uh, did we? No, I think we did. All you get is the sort of potato with, has it got cheese on top? It's like an au gratin with a bit of crumple, cr- crumples? A crumbles? Bit of crumples. <laughs> a little bit of crumbled cheese on. Uh, yeah, so you're not weighed down with like Yorkshire puddings and loads of veggies. No. But really delicious. Yes. And of course, oh, no. if you're having seven courses plus your cocktails, you wouldn't want that sort of thing, <gasps> anyway. Look at that. I was. Well done, Lindsay. Oh, I you, you managed to have a drink and, and not. Injure myself. Fall out. <laughs> <gasps> the, the blue cheese. Again, Sorbet, ice very cream. divisive. We love it though. Yeah, we but do. we'd both like blue cheese. Yes. If you don't like blue cheese, probably not going to enjoy this one. No. Uh, but again, it's that tasting menu, isn't it? it? It's this is what you get as part of it. Yes. Look. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, cocktail. You can see at the other side um, where they're preparing the food, and you've seen on some of the shots as we've been doing it that it just. Really yeah. entertaining to watch them doing it. Yeah. The the mushroom one's impressive. So it is a bit marmite, but it is a must try. You, you've really got to give it a go. Uh, we give it a 9 out of 10 because we personally really love it. We do. I just, we, we get why some other people might give it a 5. I would like to look at you while I'm eating, though. Well, next time we'll see if we can get one of the chairs. Yeah. I don't I don't think they do that for twos. Oh. Gumby. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you say that. Yeah. <laughs> Gumbay is a Korean barbecue. Yeah. Now the reason that you made that noise at the start is noise. that yeah, the, uh, um, that <laughs> noise is that as you can see here, all the tables are for six people. Yeah. Now the very first time that we went on Virgin, we were, we just were sat a, by ourselves. We were two. It was just after the world had changed. Well, that's why though. But I like you're that. going now, and you are paired up with the next lots that come in. So you will end up with, if you're a two, with another people, four people you don't on know. there. And it comes down to, when it's like that, the people that are on your table. Yes. As to how much fun you have. Because you start off with drinking games. Yeah. We had fantastic people on our table this time. We did. Thank so, goodness. And the, the soju drinking games were, were fantastic. Um, one of the gentlemen uh, on... Right in front of us then. Yeah. The stripy shell. Treated us. Uh, treated the table to an extra bottle so we could have another round of drinking games. Yeah. And you have the chef doing all the cooking, so you're not doing the cooking. A lot of people who've got a Korean barbecue like to cook themselves. Yeah. That isn't an option on here. No. They're also very keen on you keeping alcohol away from yes. um, the barbecue area as well, for obvious reasons. Yeah. You can't say that it's not fresh because it's prepared directly in front of you. Yes. Again, it is more a curated meal nowadays. There is technically a menu mm-hmm. where you can pick from, but yeah. they tend to bring it over for you. Now, just to be clear, when I say bring it over for you, 
I mean that they will make their recommendations as to what you have yes. and put it out. And it's family yeah. style, you you all share yeah. sort of within there. But I really like it, but it comes down to the table. If you were on there with, you know, two other couples who who didn't really get the virgin concept. Then that might be difficult. But if you were on the cruise line and you went with two other couples, this will be an even better experience. It'll be fabulous. You yeah. will be half cut by the end of it, yes. if not fully cut. Yeah. They'll keep cooking as long as you want them to. Mm-hmm. They kept asking us, do we want more? And it is a unique experience. So you know, yeah. there's nothing else really like it. No. It's, again, not romantic. No. It's loud mm-hmm. because you hear everyone else doing the drinking games. But it's well worth trying. We give it a 7 out of 10. And that's not because there's anything wrong with the food. Extra virgin, which is the Italian <laughs> dining. <laughs> now, we don't normally have Moe. Moet. Uh, Moet. Um, <laughs> when, when we go here. But we had the Splash of Romance package. This was the last night, I think. It was the last night, And yes. we're still including the Splash of Romance package. You get a, a shake for champagne, a, a free bottle, or an inclusive bottle of champagne. Within the so package, yes. So we'd shake for the champagne. Oh, we did. And we could take it to the restaurant, and then, then they swapped out our plastic glasses for glasses glasses. They did, because we started having that on the dock. Yes. Then we went to see Abby the Hostess in the cabaret. On the rocks. On the rocks. And then we took it into here. So we got a good value out of it. We certainly did. We, it lasted <laughs> sort of an hour and a half, uh, which is quite impressive. For us. Yeah. <laughs> the the food in here is always good. It's the restaurant that I'm always least bothered about going to. Yeah. The pasta is amazing. The pasta is very good. The, the pasta's as good as I've had on any ship. But this feels the most traditional MDR cruise dining room to me than any other restaurant it feels on. the least virgin look at those curtains they are very mdr <laughs> but i think the the actual menu feels the least virgin all the other ones in all the other restaurants are quite creative they've got their twist on it it's nice and i'm not saying there's anything wrong with it at all and you always get plenty of food yeah but it tastes like lots of other italian restaurants that have been to on lots of other cruise ships and I personally prefer Sabatini's on Princess I to this too. one. I do too. I do too. I think too. the atmosphere in there is better. Now, the pasta in here, absolutely amazing. You would expect it. But some of the other dishes are just okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's not the one that we're most blow, blown away with. No, definitely and not. And it is the restaurant that we give the lowest score to at six and a half out of ten. And it was also slower service because I didn't get my affregato. We had to leave because we had plans and, and a show. We did. The galley. We've yes. talked about this many times before. People still refer to it as Virgin's Buffet. Yes. It's not, but I get why they refer yeah, to yeah. it as that. You've had some other cruise lines that have now you know, been inspired by this yes. and followed a very similar pattern. Yeah. And you've got a lot of different choices in here. It's open from breakfast through to... Late, late, late. 5.30am, I think it, it showed in there. Because you've got the oh. all-day dining one. Oh, no. So if you've had a heavy night in the clubs and you want to go get a full English... You can. You can go in there till half past five in the morning. Or you can go to the pizza here. Um, yes. Until half past one as well on this no, particular two, cruise. No, two till two. Half past one on this cruise. Was it really? Yeah. yeah. I thought it was two as well, but it did say in oh. the guide. The breakfast in here can be quite decadent, if that's what you want. Oh. You had their French toast breakfast sandwich. Yes. Which got maple syrup and cheese and burger and all sorts of things on it. But you can also be extremely healthy. It's super healthy. And it's also got this area at the back, which, as you can see, generally speaking, pretty quiet, especially yeah. if you're going to port there. Yes. Now, we have had people ask us, is there enough seating in here? Yeah. Because it doesn't seem like there's a lot. It's actually quite deceptive. There is a lot of seating in anywhere. But not everybody goes to here. They're not no. drawn to it. And I think that's the bit that you have to understand with Virgin Voyages compared to some other ones. that You haven't got the main dining room option versus a buffet and then yes. speciality restaurants. Yeah. You've got lots of other choices for where to get breakfast in the morning. Yeah. Whether it's a full-on breakfast or, or nibbles, you can go to places like The Wake and it's included. Razzle Dazzle. Razzle Dazzle. You can go to the Grounds Club. You can go to uh, the dock where it's got the juice bar and bits that you can pick up to go. Yeah. you got the galley. The galley is essentially just another restaurant as yes. opposed to the buffet. Yes. And when you understand it like that, you'll understand why it doesn't have a problem with overcrowding. No, and it doesn't feel uh, like... 
a lot of uh, buffets can be, oh, you have to basically run the gauntlet to get things and yeah. the queues are crazy. You sit down, the servers come to you incredibly quickly and that isn't just on this experience on Resilient. This was exactly the same for us on Scala, exactly the same on, on Valiant Lady. You've got a huge amount of food to order, including things like ramens for breakfast, which were delicious. You loved that. But it's done to order. Yeah. And like you said, you don't have to run the gauntlet because it's brought to you. Yeah. It doesn't take long. No. Everything that they put on the menu is designed for a better cook fairly quick. Yeah. But because it's open so long as well, it's fantastic. And we give it 9 out of 10. I love it. Love it. Other eating venues, including room service. Oh. And this is how your room service turns up. It comes in its little rucksack. It does, in a little, its little thing. There I am. Now, you, Undressing r- room it. service is free, but there is a delivery charge depending on... Um, what when, you order. Whether you're in sort of Rockstar, Mega Rockstar or Standard on here. And we've we've talked about that on our uh, yes. tip tour, so go back and check that out because there are ways that you can get that very, very cheap. Yeah. Uh, if you order some of the stuff, it, it comes cheaper. The Pizza Place. Love the Pizza Place. I, For me personally, it's my favourite pizza place, no pun intended, at sea. Is it the best pizza? I think it's up there. Yeah. But I, I think Princess do great ones, I think MSC do great ones. But it feels like a proper pizzeria. And the outside area where we're eating now mm-hmm. is absolutely fantastic. I like Alfredo's on Princess. But not Gigi's. But or not G- or not mm-hmm. Gigi's. I like Alfredo's. Yeah, but I think from a location point of view, that's even better. Afternoon tea at Sip. Now, Sip is one of the bars where you can also get breakfast in there and pick up pastries and stuff mm-hmm. like that. But in an afternoon, they do an afternoon tea. You do pay extra for it. It's nineteen pound if you want nineteen dollars. If you want to get champagne with it, it's thirty five. Mm. But you only get one glass. We went in thinking you got unlimited. Yeah, um, we did. So I probably wouldn't do that bit again. No. But the afternoon tea itself w- was really tasty. Uh. Great <laughs> savoury ones. You weren't impressed when we got to the scone level. No, no, the scone level failed for me. Why did it fail? Wrong cream, and they also hadn't, they didn't have a fruit scone to go with my cream. The correct cream, which should be a clotted cream, yeah. and it was whipped cream. And they had a cheese and spinach one as well. And a cheese and spinach one. The social club. This is where there's always stuff going on in here, yes. apart from the time that I've come through and filmed. <laughs> where you can watch a sports game that's going on, they have quizzes and interactive shows in there, they have the arcade just around the corner, and you can get wings and shakes and all sorts of stuff. Yeah. Really good nibbles place. Yes. The ice cream, completely included. Yeah. And this is their premium one, not sort of... The machine The machine one. one. I can't think of another non-premium cruise line, so I'm talking about the really expensive ones, where your gelato-type ones are included. No. And you can have as many as you want, and you want it in a, a tub, you want it in a cone, whatever. Yeah. Grounds Club, there's two locations of these. Mm-hmm. The Grounds Club on um, Deck 7. Yes, has food in there all the time as well. The one up in the galley doesn't because you're in the galley, you can get stuff from Whatever, there. yeah. Sun Club, mm-hmm. up on the top deck on the yes. uh, pool deck. Right, yeah. it's actually the deck above the pool deck, isn't it? It is, it is. Really nice little location. All where made you can get to some order. Nibbles. Sorry, Danny, I was going to say all made to order. Absolutely. And really, really good on there. Another Rose, we will we'll be doing a full review on this, so check on the channel. It, um, if you've not seen it yet. This is their Supper Club show, so we'll yes. be showing this very, very quickly. Um, and we paid $50 <laughs> on one, one there. I like that. But you that. get unlimited alcohol. You do. They just keep throwing cocktails at you. I think Cocktails that's... and champagne. And... Amazing. Oh, Dock House. The Dock House. So the Dock House is the open area at the back of the Dock House and Dock Bar. Mm-hmm. And it became our absolute favourite place to hang out. It did, certainly did. Later in an afternoon, they also do the upper hour yes. on this, which is two hours long uh-huh. to confuse things. Um, but where they do unique cocktails and unique food, again, the, the food's all included. Oh, Hi to Andrew, Andrew and Pam, Pam and Lizzie and Sean. Uh, and <laughs> they, they were the same as well. So it was just a place that you yeah. went out. It yes. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. And they'd make these fresh from the grill for you. And it would just absolutely fantastic you got things like octopus there yeah 
Yeah, uh, I forget what you, that polenta. I, I do like a polenta. They also had um, the steak with the anchovies, but they sorted that out for me, and you and you got it, didn't you? Yeah. Overall, as a cruise line, it's absolutely phenomenal. We love food. the food. Love it. Everything is included within it, apart from like the treat yourself stuff or the supper yeah. shows. And it, for us, it's the best food at sea, and we've given it nine and a half out of ten. Totally agree. Love it. And that's the end of another video. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm absolutely ravenous, as always. Cheers. Cheers and, oh, and thank you for watching, and have a lovely day.